Hello and welcome to another edition of Tech Bytes with Run Nutter. This time on the Raspberry Pi learning journey, we're going to get FTP installed so that you can get files transferred back and forth. There are several pluses to it. A, it does transfer files faster than TFTP. B, it has some logging capability and access control that TFTP doesn't really have, although you can enable uh, anonymous uploads with this. There are uh, several reasons why you don't want to, you know, security, and this way you can know what's going on. Plus, there are some devices on FTP that will have to have user credentials. They're just That's just the way they're built, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. So we'll start from that standpoint. Since that's FTP strong suit, we'll begin the process of going out and getting uh, the FTP service installed. And we'll do sudo apt-get install vsftpd. And it'll take it just a bit here to get it up and running. And this really is between this and... Uh, TFTP, this actually is probably a little bit uh, easier in certain respects to, to get up and running. So it's pretty much a, you know, you may end up having to have both. There are times when, uh, you know, TFTP may be the easier one to use, and you may have some legacy systems that don't understand FTP. So at least you can have the the best of both worlds. Now, this is just getting it up and running on the Raspberry Pi. It doesn't include getting, say, UFW or whatever, you know, IP tables or the firewall that you may be using on your Raspberry Pi if you're even using one. This just gets you up and running. So it, it just goes along the line of what I've been doing on the rest of the Raspberry Pi posts and videos showing you, you know, network engineers what it takes to get it up and running to where you can use it. So you know, as you can see from this time, we are using uh, the VSFTBD version 2.3.5-3. And unlike TFTP, this one comes up right out of the gate. So you shouldn't see any errors when it first starts up. And it'll take just a second to get finished here. And then we can move on to showing you a couple of minor configuration things that you'll want to do. Again, very straightforward, and it just about walks you through getting it up and running. Now, the what we're going to do at this point is go on to sudo nano etc vsftpd.conf. And then we will go down to, we will look for local enable, and that's going to let us use any accounts that are installed on the Raspberry Pi as the method of authentication. And then we will do write enable, yes, and that's what's going to allow us to upload things to the Raspberry Pi. We'll do control X, yes, enter. Now, anytime you make a change to the configuration file for FTP, pretty much like everything else that you're going to do on the Raspberry Pi, we're going to have to get things restarted. So we'll do a sudo service vsftpd restart okay that says we're up and running and then we can do a tail var log vsftpd.log and if i can spell right then we'll actually see something okay see there's nothing in there at this point because we haven't done anything but that's it does say the log file is there so now We'll shift over to FileZilla, and there's, you know, different FTP clients you can use. And we'll put our credentials in here, and we'll tell it to do a quick connect. Okay, gets in, and this is what tells you right over here that you've got your credentials set up right and, and not, shouldn't be having any problem is because you'll see a... A listing of files or directories and you, you complete you know you see the the path up here from the top so that says we're good to go so let's pick one here and take our friend the security brief and drag it over into this directory and you can see even on a hundred meg connection it took just a matter of a few seconds with tftp that would have taken considerably longer so we'll go back over here and now 
you can see it sees us as connecting. It's got us logging in. And it sees the connect again when we actually go to do the transfer. And then there's the file and everything was uploaded. So that's it. It's really been a, you know, a very quick process, not that hard to, uh, to do. And just get one of the other services that would be a good thing for you to know how to set up and running in your Raspberry Pi when the time needs. Well, we've come to the end of another video. Thank you again for your time on watching this and reading the accompanying post on my website at www.ronnutter.com. If you have anything else that you'd like to see in this series, please uh, feel free to send me an email. I've got a, a contact tab on the website. And for those of you that have used that, you know that I do get back to you. So I'll look forward to uh, seeing you again. And thank you for your time.